Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will learn how to install RHEL 7 in a VMware workstation step by step. Okay. What is a VMware? VMware is nothing, it is just a software which is used to utilize your resource of computer. So you have to just install VMware workstation first of all. There you can see after installation, create new virtual machine. Just click on the new virtual machine. Here is a typical. Just click next. Do not use customize. It in this it will ask a lot of things. Click next. You can select a CD from your local CD ROM, and you can select ISO file here also. But I want. I will select the ISO later. First, I want to specify what would be the configuration of my operating system and click next. It asking about the operating system whatever you want to install. So here you can install Windows, Linux, Netware, Sensolaris, even VMware, others also. So I am going to select Linux and here you can see whatever the flavor you want to install like SUSE, Fedora, CentOS, Ubuntu. So here I'm going to install Red Hat 7 points. Red Hat 7 64 bit. Okay. Here the virtual machine. Virtual machine name could be anything. So by default it just pick the name of the operating system. Let me change it. That is Red Hat. So voila. By default, it keep the location of the files in the C drive. So I will recommend you please change this location. There is a reason behind this because when your system, for example, in the future your system got corrupt and you have to format your C drive. So that time your VMs will not be deleted because you already create a separate pile folder for that in a different partition when your system gonna reformat your C drive E drive these will not be format okay let me here create just for our understanding lab okay just click okay now you can see it's D there is a VMS and this and click next this is the size size of hard disk you can use it 100 GB whatever size you want so by default 20 GB is enough to install a simple operating system what is a, this store a virtual disk as a simple file and split a virtual disk what is as per VMware any operating system is nothing just the files okay so if we use the first option store virtual disk as a single file it's mean you gonna it will use a one single file for all everything because when your VM will create it create a multiple files such as one would be the dot vmdk that's for hard disk dot swap there is a one for swap some for hard disk some for RAM there are multiple files right so I will suggest, suggest you use a split virtual disk in a multiple files so that in a future when you will study more about the VMware or then you can use these virtual disk right but if you select here one single file then you cannot use those files because it is one file right so if there is a multiple files so there is a separate files so you can use that okay for that you have to study more about the VMware so let's come back to the topic so here we are going to install Linux go next now this is my old configuration then finish these are the my configurations you can see RAM 2GB processor 1 hard disk 20GB CD-ROM network USB and everything 
now if you want to change anything go to edit virtual setting for example after do make these changes you want oh my god i want to increase my cg um, hard disk so you can increase here if you want to add new hard disk for example after you install your operating system everything is up and somebody say oh can you add a 10 gb hard disk on my system you don't need to do anything just go here edit setting add yes um, you can select anything for example hard disk then click next next here you can add a 10 gb hard disk then next next okay so here come back so i'm going to add a cd rom click on cd by default it read from that local cd rom but we don't have we're going to use the iso uh, my iso is in d and there is mm, e i believe there is iso there is um, 7.1 click Mm, okay and then power on the virtual machine when you power on the machine your vm will be automatically boot from the iso use alt control enter to come in the full screen then not select select first one then press next it will take few minutes to take you on the screen where can you start your installation yeah now you it's asking about the language by default it's I am use the just lines you can use different language also so it's read a media local media the iso automatic part is selected then click here 20 gb hard disk already selected as we add 20 gb during uh, configuration of the vm do not use automatic configuration partition because when you're going to install uh, any vm on a production so you don't need you will not use automatic configuration partition you have to specify that click i will configure partitions okay then click here what you need to do wait just create now you can see here here you click here to create them automatically right use just hold on i will show you when you click on here it will take you here you can see default partition it will create like this if you will select default one okay so i just want to show you so when you click on the automatically it will create these three partitions okay so you have to use three you know for install a linux operating system we required only three partition slash boot slash and a swap you no need to install other partition right create other partition these three partitions is enough for your OS okay so I just click on that I just cancel it that you can when I just want to show you what you want to use so now you can see here is a plus you create a new partition option by clicking plus button you can see here is a plus right you just click on this plus here you click slash first you use a boot but we just give a five two hundred add and then you will plus again then use uh, slash we use a 10 gb 10 g
okay and then use a swap it's 2g and then create one more more partition like slash home where your user will be create 2g okay now just press done accept the changes and begin installation after that you have to set the password of root red hat red hat it will say it's a weak password don't worry okay so it way your uh, installation is going to start it will take few minutes let me pause the video till on the next this you can see guys after installation complete you can see complete and it's showing the reboot just click on the reboot your system will be reboot after reboot it will come it for five seconds it will ask you would you like to go in a rescue mode you want to install so it automatically boot with a kernel now system will be up you have to just log in it will come okay now press root and red hat the password here yes you have select CTL. you can see the host name icon name chassis machine id virtual name and the operating system the version and the kernel version your linux installation complete thanks to watch this video if you find this video helpful please subscribe our channel technical tech thanks to watch this video